As a Tesla owner, my self-identity is wrapped up in my car. And I can confidently tell you that the best way to care for their environment is to drive a $110,000 electric car because it has zero emissions. And I want you to know from the bottom of my Tesla owning heart to you, if you don't drive a Tesla, then you're selfish and clearly hate the environment. Luxury Enviro Shame. Caring about the environment's the convenient rationalization I use to cover up my real motivation for buying a Tesla. Materialism and wanting the status it gives me. But as a Tesla owner, I don't acknowledge this truth, and neither should you. Instead, I'd rather just have you think I'm rich and that I care about the environment. How in the hell do you close this thing? Got it. I love to carbon shame people for driving regular cars. They have the carbon footprint of a Sasquatch in a China shop. I have no idea why people drive regular gas guzzling cars instead of a six figure zero emissions Tesla like me. I just don't get it. Teslas are the $20 green juice of cars. You have no idea why you're drinking it, but you do because everyone else in the upper middle class community is, and you want to feel included. A secret that all Tesla owners know is, you no longer have to do something admirable to be admired. You just have to own a Tesla. And here's some accurate assumptions that all people think when they see someone driving a Tesla. They're forward thinking. That person's probably a highly successful programmer earning at least $200,000 a year. That person's better than me. I'll bet they listen to audiobooks. They must solve problems at a global level. They probably worked out on their Peloton bike this morning in their high-rise apartment. That person's single-handedly ending global warming. I'll bet they have a lot of charisma, yet like to keep to themselves. They probably founded Facebook. When I'm not carbon shaming people, I love to focus on the Tesla features I can't live without. There's so many that I don't remember most of them, and therefore they all add value to my life. Each one that I do remember takes me an average of only 11 minutes of frustration and struggle to remember how to activate. Some of my favorite features are self-driving mode. Nothing makes me feel more stress and terror than when I completely give up control of my car as I relax into self-driving mode. And it makes me think that I'm important enough that I don't have time to drive my car when I'm riding in my car. It also enables me to more safely indulge in my self-destructive lifestyle of drinking too much wherever I go. Video games. What do people desperately want but never get when they're buying a luxury gas guzzling car? A video game system. But as a Tesla owner, I get this incredibly useful feature. Now when I arrive at my destination, instead of getting out of my car, I stay in my car for hours playing the world's most expensive video game system. Ludicrous mode. Going from 0 to 60 in 3 seconds is lame. So for an extra 20k, I get ludicrous mode so I can go from 0 to 60 in 2.4 seconds. That extra 0.6 seconds has changed my life. And I enjoy the sensation of having my kidneys liquefied and my stomach being pulled up through my throat when I use ludicrous mode to impress my friends. Dude, I almost crap myself. No, you actually did. Doors that open upward. My Tesla Model X has doors that open upward, and that makes me feel like a Michael J. Fox in Back to the Future, just with less Parkinson's disease. And they make me think that people are admiring me instead of thinking I look like an idiot. I've also closed the door on each of my children's heads multiple times. Song and dance mode. The feat of engineering that lets my Tesla sing and dance to my favorite Christmas song and the increased cost because of it brings unspeakable joy to me for approximately one Instagram video over the course of my vehicle's lifetime. When my Tesla needs servicing, I enjoy having to wait a couple weeks for an appointment. The fact that the company doesn't let regular shops work on their cars gives me the luxurious experience of waiting. 
and not being able to drive my car. And that makes me feel the value of exclusivity. It's like waiting in a long line to get into a club. Yeah, there's other clubs I could go into, but this one has the longest line, so I think I'll wait. As a Tesla owner, I have a borderline problematic obsession with Elon Musk. He's the most inspirational person to ever walk the planet. Elon's what would happen if you took the sex appeal of Stephen Hawking and combined it with the innovative genius of a non-asshole Steve Jobs, along with the social skills of Rain Man. I'm always on his tweets like they're the last open charging station in a Whole Foods parking lot. And I'm either too dumb to understand how his tweets make any sense, or he's too socially awkward to use words in a way that makes any sense. Either way, I love him. And I sleep better at night knowing I'm a part of Elon's world. And I am totally on board with colonizing Mars. It seems like it'd be enjoyable to live there. As an electrically powered Tesla owner, it's important for me not to consider where my electricity comes from and how it's probably generated by burning coal and therefore produces large amounts of carbon emissions. That inconvenient truth would threaten my very generous pretend devotion to the environment. But do you know what is good for the environment? Not knowing that the mining of the rare earth minerals that go into making the enormous lithium ion Tesla batteries generates large amounts of greenhouse gases. Instead, I just focus on the things that I'm willing to acknowledge, like how being a Tesla owner makes me a good person who cares about the environment. It makes me feel like I'm feeding the hungry without having to give them any food, and that makes me feel pretty good about myself. Thank you, Tesla.